What's going on you guys? LMA Gaming here with another video, a tutorial actually on how to get your Twitter feed displayed onto your live stream. Now it's very, very, very simple to do. It's the easiest way I could find and hopefully it is for you guys as well. All you'll need are three things, an HTML client, a Twitter account obviously, and open broadcaster software. I'm pretty sure you can do this with XSplit. I just can't show you that because I don't have XSplit. So there will be a link to everything below so no need to worry about that go ahead and click on the twitter link and that'll take you to a page just like this now you guys can go ahead and type in your username and every tweet that you send out you know regardless of what it is it will be displayed in your stream now you can exclude replies and auto expand photos as well and change your height and theme and all that good stuff now what I usually go with, and I find this the best option, at least for me, I go with search. So anytime someone types in the hashtag that I want with their tweet, it will be displayed in my stream. Now I have mine set at 400 as the height, I keep my theme at dark, and I auto expand photos. So once you guys do that, go ahead and click on create a widget, like that, and you'll be you'll get a HTML code. Go ahead and copy that HTML code. Go ahead and click on the second link in the description, www.3schools.com. Click on the HTML link, it's the first one. Click on try it yourself. Go ahead and paste it, submit code, and there is, that's what we wanna capture guys. That's your, that's your feed right there. So now you wanna to go to open broadcast software Now for the sake of this tutorial, you guys, I made another scene. So you can go ahead and click on add a window capture. Another side note, you guys, is and if you don't want to keep doing this over and over and over and over again, you can create a global source. So a global source is say I want, you know, my Twitter displayed on both multiple scenes like I do here. The easiest way to do that is going to global source, click on add, and then doing the exact same thing. But for this uh, video, we're just gonna do it the regular way by clicking on add, Windows capture, and we'll call this, let's call this test. Now, under window, you guys go ahead and click on whichever window it's under. In this case, it's the try editor version 1.9 Google Chrome. And we want to we want to get the display just just the uh, just this little region right here. So go ahead and click on sub region. Click on select region, and it's gonna look a little sloppy because you know just a tutorial. All right, click anywhere, and you can go ahead and click OK, and there you go. It's displayed, but not everyone wants it like that with that gray there so i will show you guys how to make it transparent it's very simple go ahead and right click on properties go back and you will see use color key you want to go ahead and click select and click on the gray margin click ok and there you guys have it it's now transparent and to show you guys it's transparent i'll put my monitor up monitor up it looks crazy but there you guys go it's transparent now you do, obviously you don't want the composed tweet there you can go ahead and you know make it look better and all that good stuff by you know right clicking properties and changing the region you know and there you go for the sake of this tutorial, you guys, I've sent out a test tweet just to show you what it looks like when someone does send a tweet with your hashtag in your stream. It can take up to, you know, sometimes up to a minute or two. It's not instantaneous. And there you go. So that is, that's it, you guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe share with your friends if they want to know how to do this as well or go ahead and show them how to do it now that you know how to as well if you guys have any questions about the tutorial 
or what you're seeing in front of you right now, please just leave in the comment section below. Have a great day, you guys, and peace.